Today's episode is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Renewal by Anderson offers you a better way to a better window. Go to rbacentralpadeals.com for this month's specials. Wawa's future in Philadelphia may be in question due to the city's ongoing violence. Meanwhile, Pennsylvania had the most power outages it's ever seen on record last year. A portion of the Pennsylvania Turnpike will be closed this weekend. Lastly, did you know Pennsylvanians have a favorite M&M's flavor? I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a Pit. Wawa's future in Philadelphia may be in question, reports the Philadelphia Inquirer. City Councilman Mike Driscoll detailed this week how a senior Wawa representative explained the company was thinking about excluding Philly from its expansion plans due to crime concerns. While Wawa spokeswoman Lori Bruce said via email statement the company doesn't comment publicly on its planning process, it still, quote, will continue to invest in and support our hometown of Philadelphia in many ways. Writes Driscoll in his own emailed statement, quote, My concern is that the ongoing violence and sense of lawlessness right now could likely result in a business of any size to consider their future role and position in our city. Wawa confirmed they'll continue to ensure their current Philly locations are as safe as possible. Pennsylvania saw its highest ever number of power outages on record last year, reports the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. The state's Public Utility Commission reported a total of 63 outages, which beat out 2019's all-time high of 52. The PUC defines a reportable outage as one that affects 2,500, or 5%, of their customers. While all the outages were caused by severe weather, the top culprit behind them across Pennsylvania was fallen trees and their limbs. A portion of the Pennsylvania Turnpike will be closed this weekend, reminds the morning call. Specifically, the 18-mile stretch of I-476 of the Turnpike's northeast extension between Lehigh Valley and Carbon County. A crew will be demolishing the bridge that's there during this closure in order to replace it with a steel quote-unquote superstructure. This closure will start at around 9 p.m. tonight and last through Monday. Did you know Pennsylvanians have a favorite M&M's flavor? asks PenLive. They do. In honor of National M&M Day, which was yesterday, Shane Co. analyzed Google Trends search data to see which of the candy's 48 most popular flavors were the most popular by state. Pennsylvania's was the original chocolate kind, which was actually the U.S.'s favorite in general. The second most popular was another classic one, Peanuts, but that doesn't mean some states didn't get a little crazy with their M&M's preferences. Illinois' number one flavor, for example, was popcorn, and North Carolina's was sugar cookie. Did anyone else not realize there were so many M&M's flavors? Happy Friday! To stay in the know over the weekend, drop by penlive.com. Also, please remember to rate this podcast and to share it around with people you'd think would enjoy it as well. Thanks ahead of time, and as always, thanks for sticking with us. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll see you on Monday for some fresh Today in a Piet. Today's episode is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Renewal by Anderson offers you a better way to a better window. Go to rbacentralpadeals.com for this month's specials.